welcome to a new portion of From the Laptop. We uh, add this element just to jumpstart your own time in Scripture this week. Just going to share a little tidbit with you, and hopefully it'll get you excited and help you read more Scripture. This week comes from 1 Samuel chapter 5, and it speaks of, uh, After the Philistines had captured the Ark of God, they took it from Ebenezer to Ashdod. Then they carried the ark into Dagon's temple and set it beside Dagon. When the people of Ashdod rose early the next day, there was Dagon falling on his face on the ground before the ark of the Lord. They took Dagon and put him back in his place. But the following morning when they rose, there was Dagon falling on his face on the ground before the ark of the Lord. His head and hands had been broken off and were lying on the threshold. Only his body remained. So bear in mind that at this point in human history, gods are a regional idea. And for Israel to claim that their God is above all gods everywhere, it's a pretty bold claim. So what does it mean for Israel to see that their God, the symbol, the Ark, has been placed on the same level as a pagan God, as Dagon? What does it mean for, is for the Philistines to hear Israel's claims that Yahweh is above everyone? And most importantly, what does it communicate to the world that God places Dagon on the ground, bowing, and knocks the hands off? And the hands are a pretty powerful symbol for this God. What does it mean to the world to send that message? So think about these things. Dive into your scripture this week. Read the rest of the story in 1 Samuel chapter 5. Jumpstart your week.